ADHD Awareness Month, Reframing ADHD, Discovering New Perspectives. Well, first of all, I think we need to bear in mind that there are mainly two types of medications that currently we use to uh, tackle ADHD symptoms. These are the so-called stimulant and the non-stimulant medication. There is a difference not only in the mechanism of action, but also in the clinical effects, because in general, uh, when I say in general, it means at the group level, so on average, um, stimulants uh, do better than non-stimulants in terms of, of what we call uh, the efficacy, so the reduction of the severity of the symptoms that we can measure in studies, in particular randomized control trials. And indeed, uh, the stimulants are uh, the most uh, efficacious uh, medications that we use in psychiatry. So they do, on average, better than other medications, such as antidepressants, so-called antidepressants, antipsychotics, and so forth. So, um, non-stimulants, they are also good, but they, uh, their effect is slightly lower than the stimulants. Once again, what I'm saying is true at the group level, because we do know that the response to this medication is um, is individual, so there are some um, person who do better, they respond better to non-stimulants, for instance. Than in general, uh, if we look at all the data available from the literature, um, I think it's fair to, to state that roughly 70% of those who try um, uh, a stimulant respond good or quite well or quite well to, to, to the stimulant. So, 30% do not respond very well or do not respond at all. And of these, roughly uh, 50% they respond to another um, second line option non stimulant. Uh, so, uh, on average, we are able to treat the majority of these patients. Um, I think, however, that an important point to highlight is that um, medication will work well if it is properly optimized, as we say. And optimize means not only using the correct dose. So, for instance, some individuals, they go, okay, we low doses, but for others, we need to increase the dose. I have a lot of patients who tell me, you know, I tried this medication, it didn't work, but ultimately, when you discuss with them uh, the dose, it turns out that the dose is not um, correctly optimized. Also means to use correctly this medication to tailor the medication to the patient. For instance, we do have formulations which cover different hours and different lengths. So uh, for some patients, it's okay to cover, let's say, morning and part of the afternoon. For other patients, it is very important also to cover properly uh, the second part of the afternoon, ideally the evening. So, um, you know, the question how many uh, of these patients respond well to this medication depends also a lot on how these medications are used. And final point that I think uh, is important to highlight in relation to this question is uh, the issue of the short term versus the long term. So, um, all the studies that we have are quite clear in suggesting that these medications do work well in the so-called short term, so few weeks. Some patients seem to say that they, these medications tend to be less effective over time. This can be due to this medication per se, but once again, also the way we use this medication. This is not entirely clear so far, but definitely is something that uh, I would like uh, myself and my colleagues to study better in the future. But uh, I think that right now it is fair to state that at least in the short term these are probably the best medications we have in psychiatry to treat some specific symptoms they don't treat everything and as i said earlier we do need also non-pharmacologic approaches to uh, tackle more globally uh, the, the impairment of uh, individuals with adhd
The mission of ADHD Awareness Month is to educate the public about ADHD by sharing reliable information based on scientific and peer-reviewed research. ADHD Awareness Month is brought to you by ACO, the ADHD Coaches Organization, ADA, the Attention Deficit Disorder Association, and by CHAD, Children and Adults with ADHD in partnership with ADHD Europe.